everybody, Ryan here with The Lawn Channel, and in today's video, we're going to talk about this sprayer that I built, how we got there, and uh, maybe some ways that you can make your own. Stay tuned. Alright, so when building a sprayer, there's a few things you have to do. Number one, you have to get water from the tank to the pump that's over here. And to do that first, we have a, a hose that comes up through here into this part which is our filter, it's a mesh filter, 50 mesh. From there we take the hose all the way over to the pump. And from the pump we go over here, and which is our pressure gauge. Uh, with the pressure we have it set, uh, normally I try to set it at 40 PSI. Um, so anything extra past that will go back down into the tank from the hose that's down here and then everything else that should go will go through this hose down into the boom right here. Okay, so this piece right here, this is a shutoff valve to the boom. Uh, when I turn this in the off position like it is now, it just kind of recirculates everything through and becomes pretty much a, uh, an agitator for the tank. All right, so here's the boom. So everything out here is made out of uh, PVC. All of this is just basic PVC. Um, I painted this red, it's scraped when I put it back in here, so I will fix that eventually. Uh, it's okay, I'm not, it's not a big deal. Uh, what I did is I put these clamps right here. So I've got three clamps on this side and three clamps on the other side. And the PVC will actually just slide through it. So that piece of PVC comes to this T right here. And this actually separates, both sides separate there and here. And that's what allows me to detach the boom. So I'll pull it apart here, up here, and then I'll also disconnect the hosing right here. And then I can pull this boom straight off. Another cool thing about this situation here is that I can move the whole boom this way or that way just by pulling and uh, moving it from within here. So that's kind of cool. It's, uh, it was, it was a kind of neat setup that uh, for me, because I, I wasn't really sure. I, I, I thought about the angle iron, but uh, it wasn't going to work in this situation with this spreader so much. So that and the good thing, the good thing about the PVC thing here is if I want to expand and have a wider boom, all I got to do is pull this piece of PVC out here put a longer piece in and extend my hosing out each way so there's not a whole lot that I'll have to do to extend it. Um, so that's the really cool thing about it. It's very customizable and uh, easy to add on later or change now even if I wanted to. So I like that part of it. Alright so these are the nozzles that I have on here right now. These are the air injection nozzles. This is more for your this is more for your soil applications or humic your pre-emergent, things like that. And then I also have these nozzles that attach. And this is more of your foliar spray type deal, your your herbicides and uh, anything that really needs to make, make good leaf contact or foliage contact, so that's what those are for. But these are really good for like the humic and, the, and the, your soil applications. So also on each uh, nozzle body here, we have these valves at the top. Basically, if I turn it to the right and tighten it, it shuts off this nozzle. If I turn it to the left and open it, it's good to go. So at any point, I can turn off any nozzle and uh, customize the boom that way. So if I need to make, you know, a small pass, a, a, a little small area, I can turn off the two outside nozzles and go to this one, or I could just, or I could just turn this one on and turn those off, and that really allows me to uh, not waste too much product. So looking at the back here, this is where I've got the battery. It's got a piece of wood down here. I've got a couple of, uh, screws screwed in to kind of keep it in place. But that's just a makeshift thing here. I've got to finish that up. Uh, I've got to route all my cables. I just want to make sure everything was good before I did any of that. So right now, I don't even have this uh, any heat shrink on this. I just soldered it together really quick just to see and get everything working. I've got the cables tied up there. So. Uh, once I'm for sure on everything, then I will go back and I'll tie that up. This is the switch I'm using. If 
I do have it plugged up right now. We'll take the top off. Still a little dirty, but that was just humic and most of it's cleaned out. But if I turn it on. Circulating there. The pump is a 5.5 gallons per minute pump, 60 psi max pressure. So, like I said, I set this to 40, so that extra 20 is flushing the extra down and back into the tank. If this goes past 60, it's actually going to shut the pump off. So guys, all in all, I'm very happy with the sprayer. Um, you'll see it more in videos. Got a lot of things planned with it. Got pre-merger coming up soon. Um, any herbicides, any humic treatments. So you'll see it more in videos. I just wanted to show you this real quick. A few people have been asking about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was quick. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. See you later.